if you suffer with migraine headaches, tension headaches, if you have neck pain or shoulder tension, then watch this segment very carefully. Now, I've been in practice for over 20 years. I've treated many patients with similar pain, with great success using the pain therapy system. In fact, most of what I know before and most of what you know about headaches is probably not correct, okay? What I find is most headaches, most people who suffer with tiredness or that constant band of tightness on their forehead, most people who get dizziness have some problem with the neck, whether they have neck problem or not. So if you have any kind of head problem, meaning dizziness, fatigue, you have trouble sleeping, and if you get headaches, make sure you treat the upper part of your neck. That's very important, and most doctors will not tell you that because they don't relate to that and because they, have, they haven't discovered the truth yet. Now, to treat the shoulder and neck area, you can use four pads, okay? So four pads at the same time. So I always like to put two pads on the upper shoulders, and then I use the other two pads on the area of the neck where I have problem. So, if you have pain in a you know, particular area of your neck, just put the pads right on it, just like that, okay? But if you have headaches, like those throbbing, pounding headaches, you know, the, the stabbing pain behind the eyes, or if you're constantly tired, then you need to put the pads just below the hairline. For migraine patients, this is very, very important, all right? So put the pads right there, just below the hairline. If you feel it, there's a little depression there. That's where the nerve exit. From my experience, and I've treated many, many people with migraines and other types of headache, over 90% of patients who get migraines, if they get a treatment here, they get great relief. And we have seen many people who don't get headaches anymore if they treat themselves regularly, all right? So put the pads there. Now, one word of advice. When you're treating your neck, and if you, you know, getting treatment for headaches, you have to lie down. If you do a sitting up or even semi-inclined, you don't get the same results. The reason is your head weighs about 10 to 12 pounds. So if your neck have to hold you up, hold the head up, then the muscle cannot relax. So you have to be in a total relaxed position for your neck. So I'm going to lie down to show you exactly how to do it. Now this is the correct position to treat your neck and to treat your headaches, okay? You get yourself a neck roll. If you don't have a neck roll, just get a bath towel, roll it up, and you want to put the roll under your neck, not under your head, because what we want to do is support the neck in its neutral position so it can relax better. And also we want to use the roll to press the pad tight against my skin so that you get good contact and a better treatment, all right? Now, I already have the pads on my neck and on my shoulders for them. And I'm just gonna lay on this neck roll. And then you just turn this on. And I love this treatment. I, I do this almost every night because I spend a lot of time in front of the computer. So my, by the end of the day, my neck is a little tense. So I put this on so that I don't get any problem the next day or accumulating muscle hardening. So you just turn it on and it feels good. It feels like somebody's massaging you, chopping you, relaxing you, and you get better circulation. And in about 10 or 20 minutes, you'll feel that better circulation going to your eyes. And if you have any headaches, you'll find them start to diminish. It, this, this really works, okay? If you have neck pain from a whiplash, like car accident, or from working from a computer, or, or if you got right neck, okay? So you woke up one morning, and you got a really, really stiff neck, you can't turn your neck at all, put this on. This will help you. But you have to do it in a lying down position, now also, if you tend to have more headaches you know, or more neck pain in the morning, put this on before you go to bed. Or if you have trouble sleeping, put the pads on the top of your neck. It also helps. Now do set the timer, and I will set it for like 20 to 40 minutes. And then this, you know, this will give you a continuous treatment, continuous massage until you fall asleep, and it will shut itself off. So you're going to really enjoy this treatment. Uh, and you're going to have less headache and less neck pain by, the, by using it regularly. Take care of yourself. Now, for those of you who suffer with migraine headaches, tension headache, or if you have neck pain or tension in your shoulder, I suggest you do the following exercises, okay? It's very important to keep your neck 
nice and loose and to have full range of motion. So the way to do it is you just stand up, okay, with your arms down, nice and relaxed, and just turn your head from side to side about 20 times and do it in a fairly rapid you know, motion so that the joints can actually become more loose with each turn. So this is what you do. Just nice and loose. And let the momentum of your head carry your neck motion, okay? So, just like that. Now, if you do hear a little bit of clicking noises, that's okay. It's just the joints starting to get some new range of motion, so nothing wrong with that, okay? Now, I suggest you do not stretch your neck like this, okay? Or like this, which, you know, you might be taught, or any of those other motion. All I suggest you do is rapidly turning your neck from side to side, okay, about 20 times, and do that two, three times a day. First thing in the morning, before you go to bed, also when you're taking a hot shower, okay? Also, if you're the type of person that sits at the desk and work on your computer, make sure your computer's right in front of you. If your computer's in, you know, on the side and you're turning your neck this way, or if you're watching television this way, your neck can tighten up very quickly. So always work with you facing or whatever your task is. That's very important. And then if you do work, you know, if you work cause a lot of stress in your neck and shoulder, do stand up once in a while and just do some rapid motion with your neck. And that will really help with the neck range of motion. Now, you need to strengthen the neck and shoulder muscles because as you work on a computer or if you're doing things with your head down, the neck and shoulder muscle, they get strained with time. And when they get strained, they get shorter, they get tighter, and they start to pinch the nerve. So it can cause local pain and referral pain. And that's why many people get headaches. So I'm going to show you how to do some exercise to strengthen your neck and shoulder muscles. Now, if you do suffer with headaches, neck, or shoulder pain, you should be doing some push-ups every day. I suggest you do it first thing in the morning and even maybe going to, you know, before going to bed. Now, doing push-ups helps to strengthen your neck and shoulder muscle, plus it helps to improve your posture so you're not hunching over because the hunching over posture is very hard on your neck and shoulder muscles. Now, if you have not done any push-ups for a long time, don't worry. I'm going to show you different ways of doing push-ups so that everyone can do them. Now, if you have trouble doing regular push-ups, do it against a counter. So a kitchen counter, bathroom counter, or even your desk. Just make sure it's solid and it doesn't move. So this is what you do. Just put your arms above shoulder width, okay? And then just going down like that and pushing up. And you can change the amount of resistance by changing your angle. So if you want it easier, you stand more upright. You want it harder, step back a little bit, and then you have more resistance, okay? Now, one thing you should always do when you're exercising, you should breathe out on exertion. So, as you push up, you go Okay, just like that. Now, I suggest you start with 10 each day, okay, and then move up to 20, and then move up to 30. If you could get up to 30, you know, each time, and do that at least once or twice a day, then you can move on to the next phase, you know, to even get stronger. Now, the second way of doing push-ups is to do on your knees. So put your arms about shoulder width, okay? Now, your back should be pretty straight. You don't want to be doing this. So back stay straight and just going down. And breathe out on the way up. So, Again, you want to start with 10 a day, then work up to 30 a day, or 30 each time, and you can do a couple times a day. All right? When you can get, reach the level where you can do 30 each time, then you go into the next step. Now, the third way of doing push-ups is to do what I call regular push-ups. That is, you're on your toes, your back straight, your arms about shoulder width, okay? You go down and you breathe out when you exert, so you breathe out on the way up. Now, this is the correct way, meaning my back is flat, it's straight. You do not do this. Okay, you start raising your butt up, that's using the wrong muscles and it's not good for your back. So I want you to keep your back straight. 
just like that, OK? Now, what I suggest is you start doing 10 at a time, two, three times a day, and work up so that you can eventually do 30 at a time, all right? And uh, when you do that, you have stronger neck and shoulder muscles, less headaches, and better posture overall. Now, if you do have a spot pain between the shoulder blades, which I know some of you may have, okay, or you find yourself always slouching over, here's an exercise for you. What you do is just point your fingers towards each other, you know, breathe in really deeply to expand your rib cage, to expand your chest. So, okay, so breathe out on the way back, breathe in, expand, extend your chest. So I'm moving my rib cage. I'm bringing my shoulder blades together. I'm also stretching my chest muscles and opening up that rib cage. Try breathing through your nose as well. Okay, do that about 10 or 20 times when you feel there's a need. Now, if you have headaches, neck pain, or circulation problem with your arms, then there's another product you should be using together with the pain therapy system. Okay, it's called the Neck Comforter, and you can find out more on our website. Now, just quickly show you, this is a neck traction device. So basically, you put it on, and it works by air. So we just close off the valve, and we just pump it up. And when you pump it up, what it'll do, it'll lift the weight of your head, of your neck, okay, to help give your neck good support. But more importantly, it helps to lift and stretch the neck muscles and press the shoulder down. So let me just pump it up first. So first, I'm feeling right now just like my head is getting a nice little lift. Now you don't stop there. It's not just a neck support. It actually stretch your neck. So you keep pumping until you feel, ah, okay, that's good, okay? I can now feel my shoulders being pushed down and my neck muscle is slowly getting elongated, all right? And as you feel, things are starting to relax. And by the way, you should be like leaning back and just let your neck, you know, relax totally while you're doing this, okay? So you just sit like this for about 20 minutes. And during the treatment uh, section, as your neck and shoulders start to relax more, you can add a little bit more pressure to have a little bit more stretch. So whatever's comfortable for you, all right? And once you have it set, there's a little valve here. We can push that little ball in, close off that valve, just like that. And then uh, just feel that pressure being released, okay? No more weight on your neck. It just feels nice. Now, after 20 minutes, okay, you just release the air. Simple. We just turn this valve, and all the air comes out. And we take it off. Oh, I'm telling you. This feels so good. You feel you got full range of movement. No more, you know, cracking in your neck when you're turning because everything moves nice. So this is what you do. If you have neck problems, neck pain, neck stiffness, tension in your shoulder. If you have recurrent headaches, migraine headaches, tension headaches. If you have trouble sleeping, okay, uh, then you got to use two things together, right? You got to use the pain therapy system first to relax the muscle, to relieve the pain. After 20 minutes with the pain therapy system, then put the neck comfort on right away, right after the pain therapy session, right? Then that stretch and improve the posture of your neck. So the two treatment combined will give you the best results. Once you try it, you understand how good you can feel. Now, the pain therapy device can be used to treat your face for different problems. If you have what we call TMJ, temporal mandibular joint problem, we have pain here, when you open your mouth, or you have a hard time opening your mouth, we can use that to treat that joint pain. If you have what we call facial paralysis, either due to a stroke or Bell's palsy, where there's a virus attack on the nerve and cause the face to become you know, paralytic um, without any known reason, we can use it. 
Or if you just want to use it for facial toning or to get rid of some of the fluid that's building up in your face. The reason is, when we stimulate the face, we stimulate the nerve and the muscle underneath. Another condition you can use it for is the trigeminal neuralgia. Now, this one is very painful, okay? Uh, if you have that, understand. And that one, you're not going to see the response immediately. It will take some time. But for the other condition, you should see response fairly quickly. Now, to treat the face, only use the small pads. The big pads are too powerful, okay? Use the small pads and wash any makeup or oil off your skin first because the pads have to make good conduction. And because the, the face is usually oily, the pads will not stick on by themselves, so you're going to have to hold it on. Now, I suggest you use mode 3. That's a very gentle mode, okay? We turn the machine on first, and we go to mode C, okay? A, B, C, all right? That's a nice, gentle one. And what you do is one pad, okay? So in front of the ear, that's where the nerve exits from the face or the skull, okay? So for if you're paying or paralysis at the top, you leave this pad here, you put the second one here. And then you don't have to do it for long, 10, 15 seconds for facial toning and sometimes even for pain, that's all you need. And then here in the middle, and then just below the jawline, you can feel a little groove where the nerve exit, just right there. All right? Those are the three major areas you can use on your face, okay? For facial toning, for relieving pain, and actually even for toothache. So for any toothache at the bottom of your, of your mouth, using the lower nerve. On the upper jaw, okay, we do it this way. Very simple. And the length of treatment, you can uh, decide that for yourself. Some of you need a very quick treatment and you get good results. Some of you, if you have Bell's palsy, okay, or something more serious like the trigeminal neuralgia, you have to do it for a lot longer. But don't worry, you can use this device for as long as you like. There's no chemicals, there's no drugs, and no side effects. So you can use it safely for as long as you like, as frequently as you like. Best wishes to you.